Today, we trek into a mysterious cave teeming with treacherous traps. They will test how your brain works in extreme conditions. And if you pass them all and come out alive, congrats! You have ultimate survival skills. Please remember to share your results in the comments. Here we go! You enter the cave and find yourself in a pretty large hall where strange little people in weird masks meet and greet you. They take you to a table in the middle of the hall, and they seat you in front of it, gently but firmly. Oh. One of the masked individuals puts three muffins on the table before you. You're pleasantly surprised by their hospitality, but they start sneering under the masks, and you realize there's something wrong with the treats. It's the first trap. The person who laid out the muffins on the table explains what's inside the muffins in a creaky voice. The first one has some boiled nettle leaves in it. The second one is swarming with live ants. And the third one is seemingly filled with chocolate, but it's actually mud. So, which one would you choose to eat? Well, live ants and mud are a no-go for sure. Even though ants might actually be edible, who knows what species they belong to. And it's also yucky, truth be told. But surprisingly, boiled nettle leaves are A-OK -okay to eat, despite nettle being a plant that burns your skin upon touch. It only does so when it's fresh. Boiled leaves lose their burning quality, and nettle soup is an actual dish in many cultures, so we settle for the nettles. You've happily wolfed down the nettle muffin, quite yummy by the way, and the little masked people let you through to the next chamber. As you walk down the hall, suddenly the floor starts shaking, and before you can leap to safety, it crumbles beneath your feet, falling down and taking you with it. You hit the floor, rise to your feet, and when the dust settles, you see you've ended up in a room with three doors. Great, it's another trap. Each door has a warning sign on it, and there's also a panel with three levers marked A, B, and C. Of course. Each of the levers opens a specific combination of doors, not just a single one. The sign on the first door says it contains swarms of mosquitoes just waiting to drink you dry. There is toxic gas behind the second door, which will fill the chamber you're in as soon as you open the door. And the third door releases a powerful stream of water that will wash away everything it hits, but it will only last 30 seconds. The A lever opens the mosquito door and the gas door. Lever B will open the gas door and the water door. And the C lever will release the stream of water and the mosquitoes. Oh goody. Which one would you pull? If you chose the C lever, you're either fortunate or have outstanding survival instincts. This combination will get you out of the trap. 30 seconds of a mighty torrent are just enough to get rid of any swarm of mosquitoes. The water and gas combo would do nothing useful, as the gas would not be washed away. And as for gas plus mosquitoes, well, you might get rid of the insects, but it wouldn't save you from the gas either. Now you dry yourself as you can after the shower and walk out of the room you were trapped in, waiting for another trap to show up. Bang! A huge boulder falls right behind you and starts rolling your way. You run away from it and duck into an alcove in the wall to your side. The boulder rolls past and you sigh in relief. You walk further and reach a straight hallway with rounded walls and a ceiling that slopes downwards. With a thunderous crash, another boulder smashes through the ceiling and comes barreling towards you fast. The boulder fits the tunnel perfectly, and there's no hiding place to get away from it now. A few feet ahead of you are a series of trip wires that stretch from floor to ceiling close to each other. They're very sensitive, and each one will cause a bottomless pit to open right beneath your feet if you touch it. To your left is another alcove in the wall, but if you attempt to squeeze into it, the boulder will press you with some force against the wall as it passes, and the wall has nails sticking out of it from floor to ceiling. Down by your feet is a hole in the floor, but it's only a couple of inches deep. On the bright side, there are no nails in it. So, what's your choice? A. Try to slip between the trip wires. B. Squeeze yourself into the nailed wall. Or C. Lie down in the hole in the floor. Even if you're skinny enough to gingerly slip past the trip wires without touching them, 
It requires some time to do so, and you don't have that luxury. The boulder is rolling right behind you, remember? Also, there's a very high risk of activating the wires and getting flung into the abyss. The hole in the floor looks like the safest option, but it's only a couple of inches deep. Unless you're just a couple of inches thick yourself, you have every chance of becoming so, thanks to the boulder behind your back. In fact, the alcove in the wall with the nails in it is your only chance of survival. Remember yogis and magicians who can sit on a bed of nails without any harm? They can do that because the principles of pressure work in this case. Pressure is force divided by area. The larger the area, the less the force and vice versa. So, even if you're pressed against the nails in the wall pretty hard, they won't even break your skin because the surface area of your body is large enough to prevent that. Woo! You take a deep breath after the boulder rolls past you and go down the passage to find yourself in the next chamber. The first thing you see is a door with a large lock at the other end of the room and a timer right above it. It shows 60 minutes, and the countdown starts as soon as you enter the chamber. There, you notice three large transparent jars on the right-hand wall. Each of them contains a key, which seems to fit the lock on the door. But there's an unpleasant surprise in each of the jars, too. The first jar has venomous snakes inside, the second one is full of acid, and the third one is filled with boiling hot water. You have nothing to use to get the keys out of the jar but your own hands, and the timer goes on ticking. Which jar should you choose? Snakes won't bite unless you scare them, and trying to get the key from their jar definitely qualifies as a scary action. So don't even try that one. Acid isn't an excellent choice either, obviously. The timer is actually a hint. Hot water cools down with time, and an hour is more than enough for it to become lukewarm. Just wait until it's cool enough to be bearable and get that key. You happily open the door and find yourself in an open sunny glade, somewhere deep in the unknown woods. You've made it out, but how do you get back home? In the sky, you see a helicopter flying by. It seems they don't see you. The chopper almost flies away, and you need to do something quick to make the pilot notice you. In the grass in front of you, there's a box of matches, a pile of large twigs, and a pocket mirror. What should you do? Well, you don't have time to build a fire. Your best bet is the mirror. Catch a ray of sunlight and point its reflection at the helicopter, trying to hit the windscreen with it. Yes, you've been spotted! The pilot brings the chopper down, and you've successfully escaped the treacherous cave. Ah, okay, fess up. What's your result? (laughs) That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.